Hello, my name is Otto Zipperbender. When I was four years of age, my mother dropped me on my head while she was polishing her bayonet. So she took me to a body shop where they popped out the dent on top of my head with a hammer that was filled with lead. The experience rearranged my body chemistry, causing me to grow pimples on my butt every other day. To get away from it all, my family and I packed up and we moved to the town of Pimplebutt, which is in the country of Pop a Pimple Land. Every year in the months of May, our town celebrated Pimplebutt Day. One day while I was speeding to the event, I got pulled over around the bend on Pimplebutt Avenue. Mensch, I didn't have a clue. When the cop climbed off his horse, he came over and he said, Sir, do you know why I pulled you over? Sure, you need directions to the donut shop, right? Wrong. So I hid behind my wife and I asked her to pull down her top to flash the cop and blind him. That didn't work. He said, my quill won't ride on your wife's pair. Pull up a chair. I'll be back with my ticket book and then I'll take another look. When I got home that day, I find my wife on the outhouse. She told me that she was constipated. So she took x lax Now she was loaded with gas, pressure was building and she was on her final countdown for liftoff. That's when the brown liquid hit the fan. After all that commotion, our neighbor walked in the house off the farm, showing off her brand new breast enlargement. Ooh, wow, mensch. <laughs> she told my wife she now filled up both cups to the rim. She asked my wife to go meet her to the work for free unemployment office. My wife told the interviewer that our neighbor was a big-breasted outhouse manager by profession and she worked real hard every day trying to stand up. And when she did, she managed to tip over a lot. The other day, our neighbor went jogging and she had a head-on collision with the village idiot who ended up hospitalized with two black eyes and whiplash. When they were ready to release him, the nurse handed him a white cane. The doctor discovered that he had a set of nipples stuck in his eyeballs. Now he was blind in one eye and he couldn't see out of the other. When I grew up, my family and I lived in a one-room mansion and we slept on the floor with 20 relatives. In fact, we had to schnorr out a step so the roof wouldn't cave in. On top of that, the ceiling of the mansion was so low, 
We all ate on flat plates. And the outhouse bucket had a hole in it. So we all sat on the wash bucket. When the wash bucket filled up, my dad buried the load in the vegetable garden. Every year, he won first prize at the fair for growing the biggest tomatoes and potatoes in the neighborhood. When I turned 21, I got a job at the horseshoe factory. The guy who worked next to me weighed 551 and a half pounds. We called him Tiny. Whenever he went to the outhouse, the boss made him punch out. It took him three hours to unload. By the time he was finished, his fumes had completely disintegrated the outhouse seat. Even the cockroaches packed their bags and moved across town and ended up living in my house. When they started dating other cockroaches, I put my foot down and I bought a border collie to round them all up. Now I walk my dog every day. She pees on every lawn in the neighborhood. All our neighbors have big brown spots. One day they came by with a lawn repair bill. In order for me to come up with the money, I had to sell our house. Now my wife and I live in a pup tent. She gets very upset whenever the dog passes gas in the tent. So one day I lit a match to cleanse the air and the whole place blew up. Now we were homeless until we moved into a two-story flop house Casino. Now my wife stays up all night. In the morning, I head down the bucket looking for her. No one talks. Mensch, you can hear a pin drop. Finally, I let out a loud fart and I told everyone, wow, I just stepped on a frog. The blonde who was standing next to me said, at least the frog was awake in the bucket. Now that he croaked, he won't be able to fart anymore. When I located my wife, I found her sitting in front of a one-armed bandit. She said, honey, let's take a walk. I need to blow off some gas. So we were walking past the construction site when the air suddenly changed. Mensch, it smelled like a sewer just backed up. So I turned to my wife and I said, Honey, do you smell that? She was shaking her head no. And she said, I don't smell nothing. And she was holding her nose with one hand and pointing towards the construction wall with the other. So I walked over to the construction wall. I looked to the peephole. The place was completely deserted. Not a soul in sight. So I turned back to my wife and I said, Honey, it was the guy behind the wall. He just let one go. And she said, I thought so. Finally, I told her the truth. I said to her, there was no one back there. That's for sure. And she said, Mensch, I must have stepped in cow manure. Right. Auf Wiedersehen.